Uh, five kupuna in the native Hawaiian community now carry a special title as living treasures. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs and the Pa'i Foundation honored teachers, cultural practitioners, and a martial artist for being knowledge keepers. KITV4's Diana Cole introduces us to the special seniors in this week's Aging Well. These five kupuna have made it their life's work to keep Hawaiian culture alive. The native Hawaiian community calls them living treasures, and here's why. Florence Paule Pu'ina Ole Anake Lolena Nicholas was born on Niihau and is a native speaker of Hawaiian. She was the first teacher in the Hawaiian language immersion movement at Punanaleo o Honolulu and later at UH Manoa's Hawaiian language department. She's taught generations of keiki the Hawaiian language and Hawaiian ways of knowing and doing. <laughs> Master artisan and cultural practitioner Gordon Umikai has spent more than four decades creating traditional Hawaiian tools and weapons and teaching the next generation. He's also a hula and lua, or Hawaiian martial art, practitioner. He finds a life lesson in his career. I liken it to making my implements. Uh, presents a lot of uh, obstacles and struggles, but the rewards are very great. And so I encourage you all to take your struggles and make them beautiful. 94-year-old Doreen Henderson is a kumu lehulu, or teacher of feather work. Henderson founded Lehulu Ohilo decades ago to give people a place to practice and learn this skill. Henderson was a big part of reproducing several ali'i gowns, now on display at Iolani Palace. She spent most her life sharing and perpetuating the art of feather laymaking. Dr. Pualani Kanaka Ole Kanahele is a kumu hula who brought hula storytelling traditions into multiple media, including theater, film, and music. She's the daughter of the late hula and chant master Edith Kanaka Ole. She says a desire to keep her cultural alive drives her decisions. And everything I do, I do it because I'm pure Hawaiian. And I don't know how many more pure Hawaiians there are. Jerry Walker is a master in lua, the Hawaiian fighting art. He trained under one of the last living lua masters, then passed that knowledge on to thousands of disciples, helping resurrect the once secret skill. Walker reminds us to honor the past while we nurture the future. To all of those that came before us, that are with us, you know, the three peoples, right? Our past, our present, and our future. Five different careers, one same goal, to treasure Hawaiian culture. Diana Ko, KITV4, Island News. You think about all the customs and traditions and lessons that each one of those honorees have passed down to so many. And now all of those can pass down to more.